My people wonder shall never end. They said Blow Blow allegedly threatened KBAC with her family over Adire Company. You know that uh, that Adire Company is something that uh, Blow Blow have taken over. As a matter of fact, she is doing great in that place. That is what we are hearing. As a matter of fact, she is not practicing her uh, main course, which is law. That is because she is so busy. She gives her all to that Adire company. And they said the Adire is doing great. Though. It's, go go it's going globally right now. As a matter of fact, they are making so much money. Sometimes we heard that a... Uh, Blow Blow is making a minimum of 100 million naira from that Adire company per month. Minimum, you know. And <laughs> KBSC have been applauding her for it, even though they are complaining that KBSC can never for once uh, appreciate them by kind of gifting them or making them feel happy and they appreciated for the great job that she is doing for KBSC. Because in as much as some people will say, hey, she not making her own money. She is making her own money, but we know that that business is not her own alone. From what we are hearing, KBSC is the one that have the business. She is managing the business for KBSC. And Igbi, on the other hand, we have been managing the ones that she is managing too. But the Adire is great. It's going, it's increasing by the day, you know, such that uh, uh, Blow Blow is going uh, from one country to the other. In respect of this business, this Adire. And only recently, there is this news that uh, she got an international contract. I don't know the particular country. I think, I don't know if it is Canada or something. Uh, yes, yes, I think it's Canada where they say she got uh, contracts to supply them Adire in a very large quantity. And she has calculated the gain that she was going to make from that business, you know. Then, after concluding the business with these people, she was waiting for them to pay in the money and all of that so that she would do the supply. She waited and waited and waited. She waited more than she should. She became bothered and said she reached out to them again to find out what happened, why they are still delaying. Is it that the money is not available or they don't need it again? But they are the ones that told her that... They needed it uh, immediately. So only for these people to tell her that, hey, they have received the boost. They have paid in the money. Ha! They said uh, Blow Blow was kind of am I hallucinating. He asked them again and they told him the same thing. He called another person that connected uh, her to them. They said, the person told, them that, uh, told her that they have received it. Is it not from you? Ha! My people. That was how they said they started making an investigation. Only for them to find out that it was Lady P, the almighty P, the one that is a, is it a ambassador, uh, a big minister, a Shino in Canada, that is now parading herself as Kabisi's wife, even though the marriage has not been made official. But we are here in the Kabisi have paid her bride price. My people oh, that is how they say when they were making investigation, the company told uh, Blue Blue that there is this particular lady, and the lady is well known here in Canada. She's also a minister for is it uh, finance or whatever. That she came and said that uh, she is the uh, the newest wife of Oni of Ife, and Oni have handed her over that uh, at the company to be running, and. That is how they said they, they made the business with her. She supplied the business. Everything was okay and very smooth, faster than what it used to be. Hey, they say, Blow Blow said this is not happening. No. This is not happening. And they say, Kabi, uh, Blow Blow now returned back to the palace, confronted Kabiyasi and told Kabiyasi about it. Kabiyasi summoned uh, the DP. When they asked Lady P, Lady P said, uh, who, who no like the cutting? Hmm? Who will see a, a contract of so-so amount and will just go and relax, knowing fully well that uh, Blue Blue have been making so much money from this Hadere company, that she doesn't know that such amount comes out from that business soon. And that is why she said uh, she's going to do this one. And she did it, and it came out well. 
So she didn't deny it. She did not deny the fact that she was the one that did that business behind Blue Blue. How did she get to know about the business? That is one uh, something that we could not talk say because uh, she's not working in a direct company. But <laughs> you can cannot trust these women. No, that is how they say Blue Blue said that enough is enough. Oh, that she's never going to tolerate this nonsense. That can be easy. If you know her very well, you will know that she never fought you for any reason for marrying another woman. Then you can go ahead and marry as many as possible. That she doesn't give a damn. She doesn't care. That is what they say Igbi was telling uh, Kabiesi. But, you see, going to marry someone who would want to come and rip her off her uh, business, something that she have leveled for so many years. Because from the information we gathered, Blow Blow have been in this Adire company for a very long time. As a matter of fact, her relationship with KBSC is still is because of this uh, Adire company. You know? So that she's not going to fold her arms and watch anyone. That And anyone that who is coming in for this, it's better that KBSC tell the person that she better not come. Because she can never fold her arms and watch uh, Lady P come close to that Adire company. And uh, KBS, um, Lady P was telling KBS that KBS, you better hand her over that business so that she can manage it well or let her work as a team with uh, Blue Blue. And Blue Blue said it's never going to have the over her by body. At that point, the, uh, uh, Blue Blue told Lady P to bring the money that uh, she supplied. How did she even get the material and everything? She told Blue Blue that that is not her, none of her business, that she is an African woman who understands business and all of that. Then it comes to sharing of the money. No, she says she's not going to share the money. That she is not going to share the money. That was when they said Blue Blue started uh, blowing hot. That Kabi, did you see what you have cost her? Did you even know how much? Hey! And from that place, the KBS find out that Blue Blue is not even telling her the whole truth about how much that is coming on inside that and that is coming into that business. You know? If not that uh, Lady P was part of it, they wouldn't have known the a kind of money that is coming in. Ah, KBS, these people, eh? At that point, they say, Kabiya, she said, eh, she's going, he's going to do something about it, this and that. Blue Blue told her that, told Kabiya, from what we are hearing allegedly, that if Kabiya, did not take this matter serious and make sure that she collect, he collect that money from Lady P, that she is going to invite her people, as in her family members, into this matter. And you know that that is not going to go down well. Yeah. They said, uh, Lady P was like, how, as in, they said Lady P was shocked to hear that from Blue Blue. Does it mean that uh, Blue Blue is now using using her family members to threaten KBSC? That, hey, they said Blue Blue, uh, uh, Lady P told KBSC that, look, that she is solidly behind you. Let her invite her people. Let's see what happens. But Lady P might not understand it. They said KBSC told, to, told Blue Blue to go, that he is going to handle the matter well. <clears throat> My people... That is uh, what we are hearing, you know, allegedly. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow my page, and share this video. And watch out for the next episode. I love you guys. Bye. See you.